Hello and welcome to this new video about TWS. Um, we'll be driving a British train once again via the southeastern main line from London Charing Cross to Dover Priory. We'll be only taking it to Seven Oaks though. We'll be driving a stopping service with a class 465 and 466 train consisting of 10 cars. So two times classic 465 and one class 466. And yeah, everything else, as soon as we are in the driver's cab, I'd say. And I think I'll start the run now. Inside. So let's open the doors. This is London Charing Cross. Start the train. Driver's cab activated. Forward. Yeah, the AWS. <laughs> I suspect you know it already. Lights activated. Lights. Brakes released. Brakes. Handbrake released. Oh. Register. The GSMR system. The head code is randomly selected, by the way, just if anyone's asking. GSMR dialog. Head code read only text field. 5T31. Signal number read only text field. 2385. Code text field. 5. Capital T. 3. 1. Okay, Signal number read only text field. 2385. Code oh, text okay. field. Blank. 3. 8. 5. Information button. Register button. Registration successful. I guess that worked. Everything else also appears to work fine. 83911. 840. Okay. 36. 36 people still want to board, and then we are ready to go. 5. 83922. Okay, a few seconds. 83925. Speed limit change to 19 miles per hour in 546 yards ahead. Okay. Um, currently, there's a speed limit of 25 miles per hour, but it'll change to 19. But I guess I'll have to accelerate anyway, because I only have three minutes to get to Waterloo East, unload all the passengers who want to go to get off, and let all the new passengers board, and then I have to continue. So, yeah. <laughs> Doors closed. And let's go. Yeah, we are driving a class 465. Signal. Yellow. Slash zero or one. Speed limit change to nineteen miles per hour in four hundred and thirty seven yards ahead. We'll soon be crossing Hungerford Railway Bridge. Yeah, that was the information that the next stop. Is Speed limit change to 19 miles per hour in 219 in yards ahead. Hungerford Railway Bridge. I have selected the option to for the game to show me the remaining distance to the next station using sounds instead of voice off. The speed output. limit is 19 miles per hour. Because I pr actually prefer that, but yeah, you can also change that. You can also tell the game to tell you the distance to the station via the TTS voice. The speed limit is 37 miles per hour. Okay, let's go then. <laughs> oh, and the announcements you can hear on the left side are the speed announcements. Up to speed, and we're reaching Waterloo East now, anyway. 450 yards. The speed limit is 50 miles per hour. 35. Yeah, okay. <laughs> After the station, then. <laughs> okay, the next signal is green. Nice. We will shortly be arriving at Waterloo East. 30. 25. 
As you can hear, the sound pitch increases, which means that we are arriving at the station. This is Waterloo East. 842 25. 8430. Okay, so. 690. 670. I guess there are only people getting off here. Yeah, we still have about half a minute or so, so. Should work out. 20 seconds. We have to depart at 8.43, which the game will tell us, actually. So we can just wait for it. And now we should depart, but I'll be waiting until all the people get back, which is now. Closed. <laughs> and let's go. Five. Speed limit change to 99 miles per hour in 1383 yards ahead. Next signal, yellow. Okay, the next signal is yellow. Next signal, yellow in 1921 yards. 24. 29. Yeah, but we will stop at the station anyway, so it doesn't really matter to us. London Bridge, the next station, if I remember correctly. 41. Let me take a look. 1,672 yards ahead, London Bridge. Yes. <laughs> 47. 50. Outside. Inside. Fifty. Eight forty four seven. Eight forty nine zero. Okay, we have more than enough time to get 49. to the bridge, so we can just cruise along. <clears throat> we'll actually have to break soon, I think, since we are traveling at a rather high speed for the strain at least 48 the speed limit is 99 miles per hour yeah no 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 only later <laughs> when leaving london bridge 47. if at all there'll be an upcoming speed limit somewhere i'll have to take a look housing next signal should be arriving at london bridge 37 32 27 22 17 12 7 6 1 0 The brakes are already this released. This is London Bridge. So, speed limit change to 62 miles per hour in 2162 yards ahead. Okay, I'll just continue on with 62 miles per hour since yeah, accelerating to 99 doesn't really make that much sense. Only makes sense when passing through the station or having a train with a crazy performance. Yeah, that works. <laughs> 8 okay, we should leave in three and a half minutes. Okay. Yeah, makes sense actually. Since there are usually many people changing trains over here at London Bridge. So, yeah. <clears throat> the next station is. 9,369 yards ahead, Heather Green. Oh, yeah. We neither stop at New Cross nor St. Lawrence or Lewisham. We are no metro service, so, yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next signal, red in 13 yards. Yeah, we aren't allowed to actually depart, so I guess that's why the signal's red. <laughs> Makes sense, kind of. 8.46.37. Okay. Two and a half minutes. 8.49. Um, yeah. I guess then I can talk about the background of the simulator for a bit for everyone who hasn't managed to watch one of the other videos or who has just discovered this channel, video and or game. 
As you can see, on the screen you see nothing, which actually is the way it should be, since TWS, or Transport World Simulator, is an audio-based game for the blind and visually impaired, which I am programming during my free time since I'm a railway nerd. Yes, you can call me that. And <laughs> yeah, there's no like real trains in for the blind. I mean, there is one, which is actually, actually rather quite good. It's called Tube Sim, but, and it simulates the London Underground. No, I have nothing against the London Underground. Actually, I rather like it. But I mean, I just wanted to try a few other trains, like an Austrian 1116 class, also known as Taurus or Eurosprinter in Germany, or the class 465 we're driving now. So, yeah, I thought seven to ten years ago, I don't remember exactly, that I just start programming my own simulator, and until now it has paid off, actually. It's the second project I've programmed for myself. I once had a, another simulator, but um, yeah, I cancelled that one because it just didn't work <laughs> that well. So, yeah, that's where we are. Okay, now, classical English move, doors closing closed. the doors before departing, long before departing, and then just waiting. Next signal, yellow in 13 yards. Yeah, the signal is yellow. Means that I probably should proceed with caution, I suspect. But we'll see. <laughs> Next signal, green, eight. Nice. <laughs> Next signal, green in 5,232 yards, 18. Yeah, that's the signal at either New Cross or uh, St. Thirty-two. So, yeah. Anyway, GWS. <clears throat> Still work in progress, so if you have any feedback, man, I'd really appreciate it. Especially regarding realism or the sounds of British trains, since I've never actually been on a 465 yard in Norfolk from Williamson So, yeah, but I really like them. I don't actually know why I like the 465 slash 2 or slash 9 because of their engine sound, like the London Underground 1996 stock. I mean, the GTOs are nearly the same, so. Yeah. Speed limit change to 62 miles I also per like the modified ones, ahead. so the slash 0 and slash 1. 61. Speed yeah. limit change to 62 miles per hour <laughs> in 875 <laughs> yards ahead. I just quite like them. Okay, how much time do we have? 59 zero. 10 minutes. Speed limit change to 62 miles More per hour than enough. Okay, so I can just ahead. continue 61. coasting along. And chilling, <laughs> saving some energy. Yeah, so you can hear the train slowing down a bit since we're only cruising along. Limit change to 62 miles per hour in 219 yards yeah, ahead. the AWS, the warning for the impending speed restriction. The speed limit is 62 miles per hour. And once again. 59. Next signal, green in 2,981 yards. Well, that's the signal screen. It'll stay green, I guess. <laughs> Speed oh. limit change to 37 miles per hour in 32,543 yards ahead. Okay, that should be new Seven Oaks, actually. So, I guess we continue on with 72 miles per hour until we reach Seven Oaks. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, um, I wanted to talk about something, but I forgot, actually. Ah, yeah, I'll be traveling to London in a few days. I'm really looking forward to it. And 56. we are in Greenwich, or Greenwich, or whatever you want to call it. Everything goes but Greenwich, as far as I know, so, 56. yeah. Um, I'm still hopeful that I might at least be able to hear a 465 depart 
But we'll see. <laughs> Probably won't have that much time for railway since I'm there with my classmates who are not particularly interested in railways, but yeah, maybe I managed to listen to one train depart. We'll see. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, and by the way, the sounds that you can hear are from Linus F. from the RailSim forum, who graciously allowed me to use them, and from Sam T., who also creates add-ons for the Train Simulator Classic, who also allowed me to use his sounds. I really have to thank you for that, you both, since those sounds are brilliant, and yeah, I just love them. <laughs> Four thousand five hundred yards. Eight fifty three one. Yeah, okay, we have more than enough time. <laughs> Six minutes 50, until 60, departure. Green. Okay, the next signal is green, yeah. It's kind of obvious. Next signal, green in one hundred yards. Forty nine. Next signal, green. Yeah. That's next signal, one. green in twelve thirty nine yards. Okay, the next one's also green. I guess that one's for St. Florence. No, I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah, we are passing through a few stations here, as I already mentioned previously. Since the metro services to Hayes and Dartford and so on stop on these stations, and also these strange circle services, kind of, which run from Cannon Street to Cannon Street via Abbey Wood, Greenwich, and stations like that, so, yeah. I actually haven't figured out why they operate this way. If any one of you knows this, then please tell me. Because for me personally, it doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> but that might just be because we don't have such a service in Austria, so, yeah. <laughs> Next signal, green in 214 yards. 45. Next signal, green. Okay, yeah, that's... St. John's, I think. And then Lewisham, or the other way around. I'm not sure. Green in 773 yards. Yeah, and we are already approaching Hit the Green, six, uh, 2600 yards ahead of us. 854 42. Still have four minutes. <laughs> okay. That'll work out, certainly. Accelerate a bit there. Next signal, green. 48. Yeah. Next signal, green. Next signal, green in 1954 yards. Yeah, that's the signal at here, the green already. So, yeah. <coughs> <clears throat> the signals aren't positioned accurately since I couldn't find any information where signals are positioned in Great Britain. For some reason, if anyone knows where I could find this information, please tell me. And yeah. The same goes for height above sea level for the stations, please. If anyone knows where I can find this information, then please tell me. <laughs> Since it would make the whole thing more realistic. Which I'd quite like. 46. Yeah, in general, I'm quite looking forward to your feedback. If you feel like telling me what you think I could do better or differently, then please just write something in the comments below or join my Discord server or something like that and message me there. I personally prefer Discord, since yeah, I look at my Discord messages more often than at the YouTube comments. So, yeah. If you, if you want to receive an answer, then probably better if you write the message via my Discord house. Approaching here the green. 856.48 Next signal. Two green minutes to spare. Arriving at Heather Green. 38. 33. 
28, 23, 18, 13, 8, 3, 1. Now I'll record the train from the outside when departing. Zero. If that also works. This is Hither Green. 85719. 49, 48. Not that outside. Next station. Front. The current temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. It is cloudy. The highest temperature is 17 degrees Celsius. The lowest temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. The current wind speed is 11 miles per hour in driving direction. 8.57.44 Now the people have finished boarding away, but we still have over a minute left. You can hear cars speeding by. And this... The humming noise is the train actually, the first carriage, which is a driving motor. <coughs> driving motor standard open if I remember correctly. Then are two trailers standard open and then the driving motor standard open again. And then the same once more for the other class course side. And then just uh Non driving. No. A driving trailer? Whatever they are called. I'm not sure actually. A trailer with a cab. <laughs> a standard open anyway. And then a driving motor standard open. 858.53. Doors closed. Next signal, green in 15 yards. Let's go. Next signal, green. 15. 20. 25. 29. That's a 465 slash 2 or 9. And the 466. 37. 41. Inside. 48. 51. 2,673 yards ahead. Grove Park. Grove Park. Okay. Next signal. Green in 2,567 yards. Yeah, the next yards. signal is also located at Grove Park. I'm not sure, but I think we'll stop at most of the next... 64. of the following station. Oh, I'm speeding. 62. Damn. <laughs> okay. Not anymore. <laughs> I think we'll be stopping at almost every station until uh, Seven Oaks from now on, if I remember correctly, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, we have almost three minutes for 17 something yards. <laughs> Great! I have actually recorded two videos today already. One traveling along the What to Do in City Line, where it is easy to keep the timetable and one traveling down a line in Austria where I actually sometimes was delayed by two and a half minutes so yeah quite a bit actually <laughs> so yeah I'm kind of happy that this time it seems to work out at least until now we'll see <laughs> Quite energy efficient, this train today. I mean, just cruising along, doing nothing, basically. <laughs> we have so much time until the next station, then I sometimes just cruise along as I do now. Because, I mean, why not? Twenty-six, twenty-one, sixteen, eleven, nine, four, zero. This is Grove Park.
9155. Everyone on board and we still have a minute. Okay. <laughs> 2270 yards ahead, Elmstead Woods. Elmstead Woods. Next signal, green in 12 yards. Station. Okay, and the next signal is 12 yards in front of us. So, we'll manage to stop exactly where we should. Nine two seventeen. Nine two twenty two. So, no one wants to board apparently anymore. How many people are we actually? One hundred and thirty. Ah, okay. That works. <laughs> I mean, way too little to justify a ten car train, but. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to drive a long train, actually. Without having performance problems, like with a freight service sometimes. So, yeah, I chose the 465, 466 combination. Five. Next signal, green. Ten. Next signal, green in 2,259 yards. A signal at Elmstead Woods. 2,180 yards ahead, Elmstead Woods. Yes, Elmstead Woods. 34. 37. Okay, 31. three minutes again. I'll accelerate to... 48. Hmm. Well, 50 is a bit too little. 55. 55. So around 90 kilometers per hour. 54. 53. It's cruising along. <laughs> She kind of makes interesting noises on these trains. These strange little squeak noises are from the suspension, as far as I know. Or well, at least I hope that they are from the suspension, because everything else would be kind of... here in the thing? Yes. Yes, it would. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> We also have windscreen wipers. They are rather quiet now. And we don't need them, so I turned them off again. 50. Oh, I would also be able to use an automatic speed control here. We will next be driving at speed. Elmstead Woods. 39. 39. 20. 20. 20. 19. Uh, but Nine. these trains can't do that as far as I'm aware, so oh. this is <laughs> I won't do so either. Nine five twenty-six. Half a minute. Two. That's what I like. One thousand seven hundred and fourteen yards ahead, Chislehurst. Chislehurst. Speed limit changed to thirty seven miles per hour in twenty thousand two hundred and seven yards ahead. Doors closed. 9544. Next signal, green in 13 yards. 5. Next signal, green 10. 15. 20. 29. Yeah, less than 1700 yards 34. to chisel her, so. 37. Not even sure if I should accelerate past 45. Oh, 990. Okay, I have. 45. Never stay at 45. 
highest operating speed on the northern line is okay. Arlan Royal, so it really isn't that much, but you only have a mile and a bit to drive basically until the next station, then why should you bother accelerating higher? It doesn't really make sense. Nine seven fifteen. Besides, we'll be early anyways. Forty one. Five hundred yards. Forty. Four hundred. Okay, we are really approaching 40. the platform basically. Since the next signal, green. We will shortly be arriving at Chiselhurst. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 0. This is Chiselhurst. 981, 990, 0, 118. Okay, yeah, we are rather early. <laughs> 45 seconds or something like 2, that. 2,544 yards ahead, Petswood. Petswood is the next station. Um, if I have calculated this correctly, then we should arrive at Seven Oaks at 9.33. So, yeah, we have already managed to drive across over half of the distance. Wow. Well, half of the time. So, closing the doors. Doors closed. Next signal, green in 12 yards. Releasing the brakes. And let's go. Five. Next signal, green, 10. So, pets Next work. signal, green in 2,540 <coughs> yards. Station. 20. And a bit 25. over one and a half miles. So yeah, we can accelerate actually. <laughs> 34. And I will, since we only have three minutes. 41. For two and a half miles. Uh, one and a half miles. 45. Yeah, one and a half. <clears throat> one mile and some 50. 45 change or so. Inside. Shortly be arriving at Petswood. Next signal, 47. Green. 42. 37. 32. Approve Petswood. <coughs> 17. 12. 7. 5. 0. This 9, is 11, Petswood. 17. 5. Okay, we are punctual. 134. 1978 yards ahead, Orpington. Orpington's the next station already. Oh. Doors closed. Nine eleven forty two. 
speed limit change to 37 miles per hour in 15,944 yards ahead. Okay, but we still have a bit of distance to cover until Seven Oaks. As far as I know. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, there are a few stops after Orpington, but not that many. Next they are just green. spaced quite a bit apart, so yeah. Nine twelve thirty forty eight nine nineteen zero fifty one fifty four. Okay, 55. we apparently have to wait this Orpington. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not? <clears throat> Probably a connecting service or something, or a passing train. Who knows? Brakes applied. One, zero. Brakes released. This is Orpington. 2,631 yards ahead, Chelsfield. 914 to 919 zero. Okay, five minutes. 22. Whoa, that's quite a bit. Eight. <laughs> 120. All the passengers have boarded and disembarked already. The current temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. It is cloudy. The highest temperature is 17 degrees Celsius. The lowest temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. The current wind speed is 10 miles per hour in driving direction. Okay, it's cloudy. Hmm, we'll see if rain will come. Probably not. <laughs> Would be interesting if it did, though. Since, yes, the weather is actually dynamic, kind of. It's randomly selected by the computer, but it's dynamic weather, so... The rain depends on the wind, and the wind is selected randomly, and so on and so forth. So, yeah. We won't have any problems with ice on the third row today, though, since, well, it's warm. <laughs> <clears throat> Next signal, green in 12 yards. Interesting, the signal's already green, but we aren't allowed to depart. Hmm. Why ever not? I mean, there were four tracks until Orpington, and those four tracks converted Orpington, and the line continues with only two tracks, if I remember correctly. So, kind of makes sense that we have to wait. I think. <laughs> Probably for fast service to Dover. Since they don't stop at every station until here, they are probably way faster than we are. And they also won't stop at every station from here to Seven Oaks. So it would make sense for them to pass our train here. 9.16.14 Okay. 919 zero. 9 we should depart. 916.25. And it's 916 at 25 seconds. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Could 
get the cup of coffee until we have to depart. <laughs> Actually. <gasps> but no, I'll stay here. Yeah, I hope you like the video on Sana. I mean, currently it's kind of boring since we're just, you know, standing here. But I think in the future I'll add a feature which allows you to jump ahead in time until, let's say, 10 seconds before your departure time. Because waiting five minutes just isn't always fun. <laughs> it is nice sometimes, and some people don't care about the schedule, they just continue, but yeah, I kind of want to at least try to follow the schedule, so yeah. <laughs> Nine seventeen thirty nine. But it's less time that we have to spend spend standing at the station as the suburban services from Vienna to the village I live in do sometimes because they have to wait seven minutes at one station for a regional express service to pass and eight minutes at another station for a long distance train I think hmm. what can that be at this time yeah it's a long distance for a long distance train to pass so yeah they spend over 15 minutes just waiting during a trip that in itself only takes about one hour and ten minutes waiting time included. <laughs> but that's not normal over here. It's just a coincidence that we only have two tracks here where fast long distance trains, regional express service, freight trains and slow suburban services run. But in a few months a second route will open, which doesn't run parallel to the Southern Railway, which I've been talking about until now. But yeah, at least some long distance services, which don't stop between Wien Meidling and Wiener Neustadt main station, can run via this Next signal, green, 10. new old route. Yes, it's rather old actually, but yeah. <laughs> 20. There were some single track sections, 25. which Kind of doesn't make sense. If you have too little capacity anyway, but yeah. They rebuilt a few sections of line to double track and high speed rail standards with up to 200 kilometers per hour, 125 mile per hour running. So, yeah. Should be a nice and smooth running new line over there, a few kilometers from here. We'll see. Okay, we have three minutes again. That makes sense. The current temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. It is cloudy. The highest temperature is 17 degrees Celsius. The lowest temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. The current wind speed is 10 miles per hour in driving direction. Oh, the wind speed actually also makes a difference regarding the air resistance the train encounters. Since if we have wind in the opposite direction, then this air resistance is actually added to the speed of the train. It's so little that you usually don't feel it, but I thought, why not? <laughs> We are approaching Chelsfield, I think. Four hundred and twenty-three yards ahead, Chelsfield. Yes, Chelsfield. Fifty-seven. We will shortly be arriving at Chelsfield. Fifty-two. Next signal, green. Forty-two. Thirty-seven. Thirty-two. Twenty-seven. Twenty-two. The braking performance is crazy. <laughs> But in general, this is the great chance already released. performance regarding acceleration and braking. Don't know if that's realistic, but from the recordings I've heard, I'd assume it is. So, yeah. <laughs> 921.34.
9. 50 people are on board. 119. Okay, 119 people on board, plus the driver, obviously. <laughs> 92148. Doors closed. 2175 yards ahead, not hold. That isn't a hold, actually. It only sounds that way. <laughs> it's safe as far as I'm aware. Next signal, green in 2166 yards. 25 29 9 22 16 9 25 0 okay. 37 3 minutes once again to get now Speed limit change to 37 miles per hour in 11,088 yards ahead 45 48 Chelsea Tunnel Chelsea Field Tunnel 51 They are passing through a tunnel 54 57 Outside, back, buffers, in front of the train. Sixty. Inside. I kind of suspect that I didn't manage to use the correct speed limit for this line, but we will shortly I wouldn't know where to knockout. actually get this information from. But it would be rather interesting to use the correct speed limits for certain lines, I think. Especially for routes where it really depends on speed. like. It's here. Zero. The brakes are already released. This is not cold. 9243. 9250. Nine. Okay. 152. Oh! More people than before. Nice. The current temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. It is cloudy. The highest temperature is 17 degrees Celsius. The lowest temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. The current wind speed is 9 miles per hour in driving direction. Yeah, the wind speed also changes sometimes. Randomly. Next signal, green in 14 Which yards. Makes sense, I Doors think. Doors closed. <laughs> kind of. So, yeah. I mean, you don't have to care about the weather, but... I guess why not? I included it since I needed it for acceleration and braking calculations anyways. So I thought... Why not go all the way and include rain and thunder sounds and things like that? Five. Oh. Next signal, green. 925 0. 15. 930 0. Okay. Five minutes for over seven kilometers to Dunton Green. Yards ahead. Dunton green. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how that works. 41. And then three minutes for the trip to Seven Oaks, if I remember correctly. I hope we'll manage to actually be punctual. Nine twenty five fifty one. Nine thirty zero. Sixty one. Good work. Sixty two. Sixty two. Sixty three. Sixty two. Oh, I can show you something. If I travel too fast, I'd actually get a warning when passing 10% above the allowed speed limit. Would it happen? Yes. 69. Now. And then I probably should slow down. 
Not too much though. Since we still need to be punctual. So yeah, that's also a system which can be turned on or off, depending on your preferences. I personally have it on since I usually don't speed anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but yeah. <laughs> if I do, then why not? And especially since I'm driving manually, it can always happen that I just miss to turn off the accelerator. Yeah, as you can hear, I currently don't allow the train to slow down in any way, since, as I already said, we don't have much time. Oh. Let's see. Sixty-two. 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 Nine twenty-eight eight. And we still have two thousand eight hundred yards. Okay, 62. we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> 62. 61. Just have to pray, break rather hard when approaching Stanton Green, I guess. 62. 928.41. 62. If you don't have a ticket for the rest of your journey, you should alight here, touch out, and purchase a ticket before continuing your journey. 61. Makes sense, kind of. I mean, 61. you do still need a ticket. <laughs> but nice of them to actually inform you, I think. 61. Just annoying the neighbors a bit. Shortly be arriving at Dunton Green. 55. Next signal. Green. 50. 45. 40. 933. 30. Break supplied. 21. 16. 11. 6. 0. Breaks released. This is Dunton Green. 930.15. We're almost punctual. Doors closed. The brakes are already released. Next signal, green in 7 yards. Next signal, green. Speed limit change to 37 miles per hour in 2048 yards ahead. 9330. 20. 2641 yards ahead, 7 oaks. Yeah, the next station is 7 oaks. 29. Where this train will terminate. <laughs> 34. 38. I have to accelerate since we only have 3 minutes. And 37 miles per hour is not that much. Speed limit change to 37 miles per hour in 1640 yards ahead. 54. Yeah, and then I can also show you another feature of this game, which you can, of course, also switch on or off. If you are approaching a speed restriction, then the game will start beeping as soon as you have to start braking. So, you don't have to think yourself, which I usually do, but, um, yards ahead. 
For example, speed limit change to 37 miles per hour in 875 yards ahead. Which should be pretty soon. 9 34, 62. Speed limit change to 37 miles per hour in 656 yards ahead. 61. Speed limit change to 37 miles per hour in 437 yards ahead. I think quite soon. 60. Yes. Speed limit change to 37 miles per hour in 219 yards ahead. 45. 40. 37. The speed limit is 37 miles per hour. 36. 37. Thirty-six. Speed limit change to sixty-two miles per hour in eight hundred and nineteen yards yeah, ahead. Behind the station, the speed limit changes again to sixty-two. So, 36. yeah, just for seven notes, basically. Nine thirty-two thirty-six. Next signal, green. Ah, uh, we won't be completely punctual, but no, it won't be that. We will shortly be arriving at Seven Oaks. I hope. <laughs> Twenty-five. Twenty-one. Nine thirty-two forty-nine. 11. So we won't be that late. 3. Brakes applied. Brakes released. This is Seven Oaks. Break. So, that's it. We have approached Seven Oaks successfully and have stopped there. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, then please leave a like, consider sub subscribing, and please share this video with everyone whom you think might be interested in such content. I am looking forward to hearing from you, either in the comment section down below or on my Discord server. Feel free to also join my Patreon if you want to support the creation of this game, since it'll always be free. Well, but yeah, it's still... I still have to invest a lot of time into programming. And yeah, I'd really be grateful. Anyway. Wish you a nice morning, evening, day, whatever, whenever you watch this, and see you soon.